So we could just jump right in. Fuck the introductions. We're just gonna jump right into the game. Wow. Okay. Hey, welcome back, everybody. We're back into our main campaign, uh, Rods of Dominion. Uh, we are picking up exactly where we left off last time. Uh, our group uh, finished off some sort of weird Fuckery. creature that somehow was still seeing them even through a globe of darkness. Uh, not sure exactly how that works. Somebody put them in a um, thing of darkness. However. Shortly after they left the chamber, they all ended up collapsing unconscious. <laughs> and after a few minutes, uh, oh, there were only four of them, by the way, that went unconscious. Ginjar, oh. Harvey, Shu, and Drax. I'm with everybody. After a few minutes, they, they start to come out of it. And then they notice that the prisoners that they escaped with are kind of standing over them, keeping guard. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Nuts. Nothing to see here. Uh, well, he's still alive. Anybody else had a fucked up dream? I got invited to a wedding. I see my leave dead parents? Okay. You, I have never met them. You what? Yeah, this is some fucked up shit. Did I take strings before I fell asleep? I don't know. We fought those things and passed out. That fucking demon's blade must have had something on me. My dream was great, and then it just turned to shit. So no one else got invited to a wedding? No, well, yeah, I heard wedding. about a wedding. Yeah? Yeah. What was your wedding? Oh, well, some, some, shit, some, some, some. Think about that for a second. Not good. Not good. Mushrooms and death and then rotten people. Mine didn't have oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I was wait, winning. Wait, I, wait. Rotten I, I have an idea. Um, because it sounds like we're all having something going on. It's like, um, Stool, remember that thing you did when you were trying to explain to us your past and you showed us, like, glimpses of your memory or, or, or before? Yes. Are you able to do that with others? Like, but, like, instead of your memories, like, us, like, share ours? You want to share your memory with me? It w but with, like, the group. He like, wants to show you when he came up. Usually as a conduit, but, like, only, only because I think we're all experiencing something and it'd just be faster. We, we can try. All right. What do you doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so a stool kind of like stands next to you, and anyone at this point who wants to maybe experience... No, I'm all right. Wait, hold on, hold on. You're going to be in my head? Yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm going to share what I saw yeah. to you. I, just this one memory, right? Because I got some very... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not, so not asking to get your memory. No, I'm Stuart, really just Stuart interrupts going across, the, across the board and explains that uh, what he's going to do is basically just translate this vision to anyone who is willing to uh, experience it. If, you, if you're not willing to experience it, then it won't work. Oh, okay. So only those who want to. I'll do it. For a new experience. Yeah, well, I guess so. I mean, as long as we stick to that, just that one. Just a dream. Not, not, not no memories. Don't go poke around in my head. Can we go into his memory, please? I'm a little You interested. stay out. I'm only going to share. So Stool I'm a raises his hands and blasts a cloud of spores above everyone's head who, who is participating. Uh, as they're standing next to him, they descend down, and you get this really weird warm fuzziness that kind of like is compressing your brain, and things just kind of fade to black, and then the vision starts. <clears throat> the tavern is alive with movement and voices. You can't remember how you got here, but you're sitting at the bar with the drink in front of you. It hasn't been touched, but you can swear you've been drinking from it. You ask the bartender politely for another drink. He turns and seems to notice you for the first time, sizing you with an appraising look. He sneers and says, fuck off, no one wants you here. Now leave before I get Ronk to toss you out. Ronk, the name sounds familiar. And as you look around, you see a large orc standing near the entrance. He's eyeballing you and seems to recognize you as well. He makes his way over to you through the crowd. Birdman, he says, um, slightly under his breath. <clears throat> Birdman, <laughs> I don't know how you're doing this, but you need to know something before it's too late and this ends. There is something sinister going on in the under. The drow themselves are being wrapped up in the machinations. When I fail, <clears throat> when I fell, he trails off before finishing the sentence. You reach out to prompt him to, to, to continue, 
and as you touch his shoulder, it crumbles under your touch, breaking away into dusty fragments. Shortly after, his body explodes and motes of something drift down across the room. Tiny organisms that land on the others in the tavern, who don't seem to notice what's going on. As the organisms touch the patrons, they immediately begin to writhe and swell, deforming before your very eyes and then exploding themselves. The tiny organisms are spores fungal spores and one lands on your shoulder. You begin to swell and feel intense aching pain. Your shoulder starts to ooze as mold begins to cover your body. Just as you drop to the floor, you hear a voice, Ront's voice, in your head. You must beware the lady of rot and decay. <laughs> Everyone's focus softly comes in. The compression you were feeling in your brain drips away and you're now back in the present moment with a very clear vision of what Harvey experienced. First off, told you you we weren't the only ones that hated you. Second off, that lady was in my dream too. Really? Wait, the lady, the lady or, or Ron? Ron's okay? The, or yeah. Ross? I don't know who the fuck Ron is. He was the, the, the orc that, that, that got shot. Thrown off of the right, because of you. Right, I remember now. No, but the decay. Yeah, I had some of those too. In fact, they talked about a wedding, and they talked about a rotty lady, and they talked about mushrooms and spores and stuff, and I lost a lot of money. <laughs> One pretty. <laughs> That sounds tragic. I know that sounds tragic to you. Money! I had mounds of money! I was doing really well until that damn wedding lady and the mushroom people came in and took my coin. It's a damn tragedy. We'll finagle some people on our way to figuring this out. We'll get you money. I have a feeling it, it, whatever our it dream was, the deal. whatever our dream was, it, it's definitely tied to what we just fought. Like, it's just too much of a coincidence that what the... The, the demon we just fought? Yeah. But it was spewing spore. It was spore-like. It was. It wasn't a demon. It was one of the the slaves that stools people had that went he ran. He looked like a drow. Remember? Yeah. With no eyes. But it stools said it used my ability to sense that it was a demon. Oh. Off. Off. Apparently someone had. Remember, I told much, you guys right? to roll in to figure out what it was because I used my uh, divine sense. So at this point, stool. Um. It, um. It seems a little agitated. So the vision that he saw the first time from what Harvey experienced um, reminds him that the creature that you guys fought just before this happened, although it looked like no, one of their normal spore servants, definitely wasn't. It was some sort of weird corrupted version. And he shares that with the group. The, the thing that we fought, or that you fought, was hey, um, corrupted. Stool, you know anybody else that might be spitting spores down here? Aside from your kind? I, I hate to say this, but the possibility that this is coming from my people is distinct. Got any, like, weddings planned down here that we don't know about? None that I know of. But there is there is a weird dynamic that has happened in my I think we need an area to get to, to your town. And, and as one quick question. Have you ever heard of the Lady of Rot in the cave? What about under the name of the Demon Queen? There's What's only the one Demon Queen I know. A bitch that Whoa. likes to blow things up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's one of the great lords of the abyss, the demon queen of rot and decay, is Zugtoy. I mean, Stool. Zugtoy. I mean, we're already in the Underdark. You mean, like, further down? Most of the demon lords are uh, in the abyss, which is a different plane of existence. It's almost impossible for an actual demon lord to cross over, so the only thing I can assume is, and you see, like, a weird, like, realization moment kind of dawn on his face as he comes to like an, an understanding and uh, he's gonna speak now and explain. In my society, we typically have just one sovereign, much like a commander or chief of the entire society. And we have two right now and they don't agree on anything. And I am concerned why one of them is doing things outside of the norm of my people. Kind of see what they're doing now, kind of proof that he's doing something. I think it's it, proof. I think it's just really a lot of coincidence right now. Do you but to me, think he's might feeling be working like with the drow? Or it's he, unlikely our people don't. The he might not be working have. with the drow, but he's working with the demon queen. I, again, I don't understand saying, how that would be possible with the, the I, lords of the demon lords are residing just, in the abyss. I just think that I, it, um, we should get to your town quick. I agree with you. We need to. Um, we need to find out more answers. We need to, for our safety, we probably need to move. My only concern is. In our, at least in my dream, I don't know about your guys, but the warning was the machinations um, for drow are being wrapped up. So I don't know if maybe the drow are tied or they're being manipulated into uh, what's going on. 
I don't care to find out right now about that. I kind of feel like our best options right now is to go to Stool's Town and see what's going on there because he's already stated that these abilities his people are known for, but they're just warden. Um, Stool, is there like something like, like a rock helmet or something that I can use kind of like keep the spores out of my head if I wanted to? Foil. Do you, you see foil down here? We have Giving no you an option. We have no contraptions of that sort. However, I can confidently say that the the telepathic links that we've been sharing on our journey so far um, will have built up an immunity to any other myconid trying to assert their will over you. So I kind of like thing. drinking small doses of poison. Yes, if we're you build the if we are going into like Neverlight Grove, then my recommendation would just be to stay close to me and. Would you be able to sense if they would try? Absolutely. It would be an then instantaneous let, uh, note of notice. Alright, All right. well, he's our warning bell. Come on, Canary. So the oh. only issue, and um, he indicates to you and says if you could pull out the map. I can help me. Boom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only issue is that, uh, we'll say you guys are like right here right now. The only issue is that in order to circumvent and skip past Racklestoke, we may need to do a little bit of a shortcut, which what is the short traversing the silken paths the silken what it's it's there's a gorge that is filled with spider webs that are typically big enough to walk on it would save us weeks of travel if we hold use on, that hold on, uh, hold, on, risk hold on stuck to those webs and are there still spiders spiders all over um question for the dm am i still in because i have that fear of the dark Am I still impeded by that? The uh, we'll say that that kind of ebbed away after okay. you, you, after. But but here's the thing: you still actually have a level of madness. So if you somehow get another like thing right. that yeah. kind of like affects you, then it goes up to no longer a short term thing, but a long thing where it's not it's minutes but days. So just keep that. In mind. I'll take it back. <laughs> <laughs> um. So the the in your defense. I was telling him all last we're really down. A little bit in the in the moment. <laughs> That's great entertainment. Alright, alright, so um so I mean, it's not like it's risky, but we may have to do that. I, is there a chance of us anyone stuck or caught? Or do we have to take? There, the most some of the older webs mo more than likely may not be uh, at, as sticky as others. I unfortunately am not an expert with when it comes to. Well, there's always a main thread, you know, like. One that's the spiders don't walk on the sticky ones. The ones typically adjacent and connected are the sticky ones. Spiders uh, will use the webs to <laughs> also signal when they have a prey, so the threads they can walk. So, so the shortcut. How how much time does it realistically save us? It would be the difference of weeks. Dozens how many of people can you levitate and how long? Uh, I can do two people for up to an hour. Do you remember how how big the cavern might be? Maybe two thousand feet more wide, and it stretches for at least two hundred miles. You said that you can levitate how many people? Two for an hour. Two? Nope. It's one. It's a concentration, and it's up to ten minutes. Wow. Way overestimated. <laughs> uh, yeah. Way to oversell. And I can't. I can't fly that far. That's what she said. So Stu will lead the way. Oh, God. <laughs> she don't need say that to myself. Stu will lead the way. We're um, gonna have to do it. Yes. Give me one second. Now, can we all agree? If something comes for us, sacrifice the bird. <laughs> you can fly away. We gotta throw something that can Imagine fly away. Imagine me just. Pulling down my other feathers. <laughs> I got brain. Could I just freeze the speed? The webs. Sorry, Brad. It's like the last thing I do. Um, what? Okay, so do I still have all the rations? Do we still have all the rations from what we collected? No yes. Yeah, yeah. You and I do. Yeah. yeah. I have no um, I'm not buying. We, we didn't get a chance to. So. I already yeah. seen the twinkle in your eye. I am not buying it. Fine, fine. Okay, listen. It's going to be a journey. we got to kind of, you know, muscle up. I can't really carry all it myself and... You know, he can't carry it either. But make you a deal. Give you some rations. Mm. Um, which one of y'all have any kind of uh, you know, protective stuff? Man. That is not me. That's you, right? Alright. Some for you, a little bit more for you. You can uh, make sure uh, give me give me the normal amount and instead scroll. Time out. What scroll? When we killed a bandit we found a bag that had the scroll in a different language I couldn't read, but your character could. Ah. And this is the first he's hearing of it. Right. Correction. And one more thing, DM. Um, yes. Why didn't I read this scroll before? Um, Not to get it for me? The, I think there was uh, a it bit was of haggling that took place. And then there, um, I think that's kind of maybe when 
everyone got sidetracked with the mist. the the mist that kind of like came got into it. the in, into there. Where was the scroll found? Um, in the, in on the bag the, that I picked up from the bandit. Yeah, and, and the I bandit came from where? Further in the caverns where we were, where we've gone into. Where we were before that we were left escaping. Yeah. Uh, they were trying to attack us, you know, for anything that they could find. So we're going. It's been they were coming. So the direction that they were coming from. We're now going we're down. Now it's, going been, down. it's been because we traveled for a few days from there. So it's been yeah. a few days since we've had it. Um, but okay. it, it's it's, a, it's some sort of spell scroll that may be beneficial. I just don't know what it is. And gotcha. I will take the normal model rash. still help you out if you can just read the scroll. And hopefully this will be shaking his head like no. I deleted that encounter. Um, I don't know. Did I... Hang how about on. I might have put it on I might have put it on Jim Jar. Give me a sec. It may, it may be a it may be a how about this? If all you have to do is give me a head nod. If the scroll will benefit us on this current path, nod yes. If not, shake no. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need his confirmation anymore. You're your own character now. Well, <laughs> that is also true. But again, I'm coming in with a little bit of history. I don't know. <laughs> scroll might be useful elsewhere. <laughs> and since you had a way to haggle somewhere. Damn it. Um, I'm gonna need just a minute to try and figure out what the hell. How about is. this? When we get there, I'll look at the scroll and I'll give you a deal. We'll make that deal when we get to the Silk Road. Then when we when we get to the Silk Road, then we'll talk about your protection. Fair enough. Okay. All right. In that case, we can just I'll I won't sidetrack us trying to figure out what the hell we did with that. All right. Um, Fast forward to the Silk Road. Uh, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> God damn it! That means we're gonna fight that's, before there. That's, that's so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> it's still a journey. We made it, guys. Webs. So <laughs> here's the thing: we need to we need to figure out um, exactly how many rations everyone has. Uh, so I was in my notes. I had it all written down. You guys, um, yeah, you, we can just you can actually add it to your equipment. No, yeah, no, but I had it I all, have I had all the current rations written down. Right? Gotcha. So I have none. 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 Okay. We had we had gathered like I think it was like twelve or fifteen. I have each. I have two. I have two rations. Of I have you know, you have more, more, more than that. that. I'm sorry. I have ten rations. And yeah. Where where would I find my rations? I have one. Yeah, yeah, it would normally be an equipment. The problem is I think when you guys when I told you guys how much you found in that cave. That was also it counting to never got eight. added to your total. No, I added. My he added his. I didn't add yeah, mine. That's what I'm saying. He had ten. I had twelve. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. because I had two more than him. I have. Maybe I burnt them. No, no, because I remember it was it was an even number. It was ten and twelve. Okay. Because he gave me the extra two. I don't know why I forgot. All right. So between you guys, you have a total of what? Twenty four. Mm -hmm. Okay. 22. And you have. I have one rash. Okay. I'm all alone. All right. So. With nothing to eat. You guys are gonna make your way towards the silken paths, and are you gonna try to do like a slow pace, a fast pace, like a normal yeah. pace? Uh, uh, we, yeah. Last few I times. I don't know how to add. Now that. keep in mind, if someone, um, I might be able to do that in the background. Yeah. Um, twelve, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So as you guys are, you know, you gotta make a decision how the the actual speed you're gonna travel, and I think before setting out, it might be a good idea to figure out if you're gonna share any supplies with the guys that got none simply because he he's gonna have to, he's gonna be forced to try and forage for however many days you guys end up traveling guys slow down <laughs> Uh, uh, I say we should we'll take our time. He he he, we rush <clears throat> he had lost a, he had lost a bet with me, and I got his ration before. Um, you know what? And don't think that I didn't remember you carrying me out that one time that I got knocked out with the whole fire thing. I got you. Not gonna give them to you, but I got you. You hungry? I got you. Sounds good. So I don't think we could, we should go to slow stealth pace. We should at least go to the casual pace. Just be mindful of their yeah, yeah, yeah be observant. The last because time we rushed, we uh, like we kind of ran into some. Not only that, but the last if we take our time too much, we still run the threat of whoever's chase to catch up. If they're going full speed, knowing that we're already clearing things out ahead of them, you know. So I think we should go to casual pace to at least hopefully keep the distance, but also so we're not medium to high. Just normal. Just normal. Yeah, nothing crazy. Yeah. Like I'm okay with that. You know you can go to fourth right now, but you stick to third. Okay, and it'll take us how many days to get there at a normal place? Well, we're gonna do like a like like we did before. I'm gonna roll, I, I have rolled. Yeah. We'll see how far you guys go and if you run into anything. But I just got, wanted to set the stage there that we should address two two. the rations thing now. Uh, and I've added those for you. You've got a total of 17 actually now. Okay. So is it, is it two by two? The pathway? Um. Yeah. Yeah. We'll say it's two by two. And um. I know so you never want to be in the front or the back. 
or the back. So it's uh, I'll be in the middle somewhere with English. You'll be in front. I'll be up front. He's behind me. You're coming up the rear, and he's in front. Of me. Well, he's coming up just behind the rear, so he's got your stool. Your remember, stool has to be centralized, or yeah. he can hit us all with four. Yeah, and, and your and your your brother. I'll, I'll probably yeah. I'll me and my brother probably behind you, stool behind us. That way, so if you guys head up, me and English will be behind you, and then stool will be behind us with whoever else with the dwarf chick, and then if you want to pull up the rear with we have the fish guy. He's the one. Uh, Shusar and Rapido and as long as I got Darendil. Yeah, as oh, long as we got lighting, I, I, I can be in the rear. Because otherwise I risk uh, losing you guys. That's why I Okay, so then you don't do the rear. Let Gorilla Man pull no. up the rear. We'll just tie him with my rope and he can come the rear. We'll drag him. Long rope. But then you run the risk of someone pulling and trips a lot of people. Yeah, that's like dragging a turkey leg behind you. Hey, by the time we get to where we're going, <laughs> it'll be done. It'll be done. Okay. It's not my vote. So, wait, don't you have a thing for like a, a light, a magic light? I don't think we should run through here with lights on. Well, I have a torch. We shouldn't. All right, push. we'll just bust those out if, no. if it starts getting too dark. No. If we have to find something, keep we them in the middle, right next to you. Put your big bro in the background with some of the other with the with some of the other cats. I mean, you got the front. We're good. Well, I'm not worried about the front. I can't we're doing a normal travel pace. Yeah. 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 I don't right. care to put lose the bird. No, put put the NPCs. I care. Um, um, who's uh, who's in the front? Which two are in the uh, Me, me and uh, Drax and Jinder. Okay, so we're gonna have you guys uh, go ahead and uh, are you gonna try to forage on your way? Uh, for like water and food sure. and whatnot. Water, yes. Food, sure. Why not? Okay. Why? Why? Just for a more ration along the way. Because yeah, we're gonna be we don't know. Day. We don't know how long we're gonna be traveling. So, so right. it's always good to find. Okay. What are you Nine. Uh, that's gonna be a survival check. So you're Sorry, gonna roll d twenty for what's the survival plus? Nah. Yeah. Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen. I'm gonna take it that he fails. Um, and if you could roll me a d ten and add four to it, whatever you get. The uh, double triangle. This one. Yeah. D ten and add what to it? Uh, four. Add four to it. Whatever you roll. Three, four, seven. Seven. Okay. All right. So um, let's go ahead and summarize this travel real quick. The. All right. I've got the days. You guys are foraging, doing normal, and you're double-sided. Okay. All right. Uh, so you end up traveling another six days without incident. So at this point, um, we're going to, if you're sharing rations with him, you're going to lose seven rations. Six, um, oh no, you're going to lose more than that. Sorry. Um, Twelve. You'd have to subtract twelve rations because you're sharing with him. So you're giving him six. Um, anyone who didn't have six rations... I have ten. Rations. I had one ration. Okay. Um. Oh, you rolled. I'm sorry. You rolled what now? Seven. Seven for the the, the D10. Oh no. You no, rolled that was 19. a nineteen. You rolled a nineteen. No, no, the D10. Yeah. Oh, so you seven. Got, you got seven. Okay. So you you net seven rations, but you have to consume twelve because you you shared so six. So I added seven, then consumed twelve. So right. you really lost nine. Yeah. Okay. So I um, lost nine. Well, yep. Out of my twelve. Yeah. Yeah. I already had. And you're losing six. So. <laughs> If, I'm gonna ask if anyone wants to, because otherwise you're gonna suffer exhaustion. <laughs> look at this evil look. At that or character wise, we're really friends do, this time. You can do a roll. Um, you're in the middle. I was behind them. Okay, so we can. What you? You can go ahead and roll a uh, survival check. Okay. Uh, seven. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. So. You saw it was like seventeen. Yeah. Seven. Week. Um, so uh, we kind of need to figure out now All right. whether my whether current, my current I rations is at what you're at seven right or twelve you no. had seven you had seventeen yeah seventeen and so you had minus, minus nine minus, minus nine, nine. So he's at eight eight hey. um I'll share with you so you're out of ration because no. don't you your mushroom. brother have to eat no that motherfucker's dead ain't he <laughs> he just don't need to eat <laughs> uh, I'll share with you five because you have mushroom hold on how do you where's the extra five coming from he had ten I, he it consumes six. Yeah, so you only have four left. Just pass me. Yeah. So I have a mushroom in a round. Yeah, I, let's, I, let's, I, have to, uh, I have also have a mushroom. Let's not make this too difficult. So Everyone's now done a survival check that yeah. you guys were foraging on the yeah. way. You can go ahead and roll now, too. Okay. So I got my thing right here. Down the low, like a big man. There's a lot of stuff going on. All right, and survival. I'm good. I'm good. I stop it. Ten. Stop. It's good. Ten. That was my survival check. Uh, roll a d4. Are you rolling online? I have space. You can see the rolls in the campaign. Yeah. D4. It's fine. No, it, I got the dice. This is the nice, nice spring. All right. Uh, Jim Jar, I've moved you down to nine. 
Rations. Okay, so four rations. so that gives you twelve. Okay. It's I mean, you were at ten. Oh, uh, okay. You get to put you at twelve. So if you wanted, he thought you were about to go to twenty-two. So that means you have enough to give him five if you wanted. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. So it's a little bit of a harrowing journey. There wasn't a lot of opportunities to find food. You guys have gotten, you know, near the end of it, and uh, oh, here. Oh, my desk map. Okay. You always have those. Okay. Tools. Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, so you near the end of your uh, this six day journey. Um, a little stressed about food, to be perfectly honest, because you guys are kind of nearing the end. Like you've got obviously a nice set, sizable supply. At this point, everyone else is exhausted, so there there is a worry about food. As you're coming up on the end of this six le- six day journey, you stumble upon this. You, you hear some noise of it sounds like an underground river or waterfall, and uh, up ahead, you can tell that there's um, probably a good chance of finding like a nice, uh, secure, like maybe like the underdark version of an oasis. Um, and let me see here. Um, the a- as you're approaching, the only major difference in most of the other normal uh, bits of travel that you had is there seems to be an increase in the moisture in the area, uh, adding a dank and heavy humidity um, to the last couple of days of travel. Um, it making it just a little bit harder to breathe. Nothing that you're gonna have to like worry or roll about. Just kind of like describing the environment. Uh, the humidity is kind of like it's taking up some of the oxygen available. Um, and I am going to give me a second here. I'm gonna pull up and show you the map first. Don't sweat. It sucks just, for me. You just got all that heat just built up. You're cooking yourself. Steaming. And you stumble across a small little alcove that has one entrance on the other end. Uh, looks like it's a couple of little caves off to your right. So is this the cave we yep. yep. It looks like it's pretty well lit. And this ooze thing here, we're just going to use this as a placeholder for Ingress. Okay. okay. Um, is this lit? Can he see? Yeah, there's there's a, like a dim light coming off from the crystals, and there's actually I haven't put it on here, but we'll say there's a patch of fungi uh, fungi oh, no. uh, near the uh, waterfall. So, could someone walk underneath this overpass? And yes. Okay. Yeah. And these things are caves. Yeah. No, no, these little like little crystals. They're like little like uh, subterranean crystals. No, they're giving off like a natural is light. Is that a big ass hole in the middle? No, that's a. That's a pillar. Okay. Does it touch the ceiling? Yeah. Like, I think if we're gonna search this, we should at least search in pairs real quick. And find Everyone stay together. I, I feel like staying together as a group is a very strong decision. I look up to very the good decision. Do I see anything? Uh, we'll say the cavern top is maybe like 60 feet above you. You got dark vision, right? Mm-hmm. Range is 60 feet. Just about, yeah. Um, go ahead and roll uh, investigation for me. You guys are hearing uh, some sort of weird sound now, though. Seven. Uh, you look at, you look at the top and it looks like you can see some sort of like it just on the edge of your vision like some like massive shadow kind of moving around at the top of the cavern. Now, do you see some up there? Do you see that? Because I have 120 dark vision. Uh, then you can also go an investigation for me. 11 and what's what does that look at? An investigation? Yeah, it'll be under yes. skills. Plus three, so 14. 14. All right, so as you look up, um, <laughs> tell me you see that. You uh, I've seen something <laughs> moving. You can't see that? As you look up, you actually are looking up there, and you don't see anything moving. And you kind of kind of just slyly glance at, at Drax, like, what and the fuck? <laughs> Good, because I didn't see shit. I was <laughs> just saying. I'm just <laughs> and and uh, saw something. I reach into my pocket, and I grab that pebble from earlier, the one I didn't throw from the worm. I put it in my pocket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cave with a worm that we couldn't make a noise. I grabbed the pebble because I was gonna throw it into one of the holes. I remember these things. I look up, then I look at the bird, and I go reaching. Hey, Jim Jar, he's to the right, right? Sure. And I toss the pebble at him. Toss the pebble at the cavern. At the ceiling. ceiling. To the thing I seen moving. Okay. Uh, you it, it ends up hitting the top, and it, it clearly sounds like a pebble just like hitting like the, the ceiling. The cavern. Yeah, there's nothing there. Yeah. Um, Remember he said I, I didn't I see further. He gave you the wink of 
You didn't see anything. Then didn't, I didn't wink. Then I didn't wink. Yeah, you should have winked. Didn't wink. You should have winked. Didn't wink. Didn't wink. Didn't wink. You don't see didn't anything. Was it? Wink <laughs> What's so convincing? So, this is a little DM timeout here. Um, if you if you roll a seven, I'm not gonna just say like you don't see anything. Of course. We're sometimes going to see things that aren't actually there. That's fine. Okay. I was hoping there was something there. Okay. Uh, I will tell you this I though. I didn't see anything. I just I was like, yeah, sure. Um, I stopped the music just so we uh, or the the sound. Well, actually, no, I can play it, but just make it not so loud. Um. Yeah. We don't have one for no, that's Ingress. Yeah, I had I had one up here for Jinja, didn't I? I thought yeah, that, I thought that's for Ingress. No, that's Ingrid's. That's normally Ingrid's. I thought I had. Oh, well, shit. Okay. All right, we'll fix that in a minute. Um, so as as soon as, like, maybe a few seconds after the pebble hits the cavern ceiling and then uh, eventually, of course, drops and it seems to make a little bit of noise, even with the waterfall uh, that you guys are hearing as well, you hear a very low, deep bass-like growl in the area somewhere. Okay. So do with that what you will. <laughs> um... Huh? Can I can I investigate like listening to the sound? I've been in the dark. I feel like I'm going daredevil. Uh, that's not how that works. And uh, but can daredevil I investigate? Did not have that ability. To sound like for like potentially to see where the sound echo, or echo came echo came location. from. What like, do you originally? What do you, do you have to screech to send out the echo to get the echo I to heard, bounce off? No, you can. You yeah. can roll perception. I can be like. You can roll perception with disadvantage because you're, although you guys just spent a lot of time in the you you haven't really learned how to distinguish where sounds are coming from when they're bouncing off of different walls and stuff. So, yes, perception, disadvantage. Are you clicking right now? Uh, (laughs) He said he was going to. Is that what you're doing? Start clicking. He said he wanted to start clicking. Okay, start clicking. I need to know what you're doing so I know how to react. (laughs) Start clicking. I'm not gonna click. You said you were gonna click. Well, first I'm trying to respond to the sound to see if I can the, the 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 growl thing. Maybe. Okay. So right. you're gonna growl back. So are you clicking or growling? Which no. one? He's just trying to hear the growl and see if he can tell where it's coming from. Exactly. That's not how echo works. Is it? Is it not? N- no. You send something, it bounces off of something, it comes back. See, you're saying shit. Just fucked up my D and D now. Happy. No, <laughs> your own phone said you know what, you don't know like, what you're doing. If you like, you're more than welcome to roll the DM dice over here. No, it's okay. It just <laughs> <laughs> listen. He, okay, yeah, so yes. uh, first roll is a twenty, right? Oh you, man. Oh. Second roll. Second roll. Thirteen. Okay. What's your perception bonus? That was with it. Oh, that's what that was. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So I I feel like that's enough to tell that it it sounded like it was coming from this area. That was now that's information you know. Yes. Because that's the that's how the check works. So whether you share too. that with your team or not is another story. No, so I no. couldn't say it through the telepathic. I didn't share enough. You can't yeah. generally hear our thoughts. I don't believe squirrel. Not unless you're still saying squirrel. I kind of don't trust. I don't do it. Cross that bridge when I get that. Yeah, well, but you can only, he can only uh, can hear I stuff I when you can break off. Absolutely. Well, hold on. He still has to finish his. Sorry, I can do it while he's doing his perception. I just haven't said anything. Yeah, I just don't want to sit there and wait no more. Like, I know there's a noise, but I'm going to. Come over to water. Oh okay, yeah, sure. So, um, just to make sure, uh, where are you guys going? I'm checking this little. I'm gonna go to close to the water, and I'm gonna pee. So, y'all did hear the creepy sound and the, and the growling and the, the thing. Yeah. Y'all, gonna just, y'all, 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 y'all doing this? The oh. longer, the longer we wait, the more opportunity we give for it to come at us. If we split up, at least that way people can retell it. So I, I might as well I, search. I don't think we should split up. Too late, everyone. I'm going over here with the. I'm going closer to the pillar and I'm going to take it. Um, okay. Jinjar, do you, do you want to go to maybe the water? I'm going to pick up a rock. <laughs> what does the rock tell you? Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, whoa, 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 whoa. You want me to say, you want me to say that? I got to Just like that? Now. <laughs> no, no, all right. All right. It we'll went from pee to poop. poop. Hey, the rock says y'all are dumber than a box of pebbles. <laughs> Just Just saying. I'm right next to you taking a piss. You're pissing by the waterfall. You over here. No, I said here. Oh. He wants to move over here. Oh. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, 
Only two of y'all are dumber than a pot, box of pebbles, but that's okay. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move you, so you guys are going in here somewhere? Yeah, so I'll have, him, I'll have him just hold the daggers, and I'll just kind of... Alright, and Drax, where are you? You said you're by the waterfall? No, 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 no. I'm right here to take a piss. He wants to be a... Just pissing on the columns. Gotcha. Um, and I heard that, and I immediately have to take a shit. I, no. I, I, suge I suggest uh, that the rest of us see if we maybe can do a waterfall. Yeah, go try. You have a bottle? Uh, I got a water skin. I, I, I have a the water skin equipment. Go fill your water skin. Uh, yeah, water skin. I have one water skin. Okay. Yeah, anyone who's got a water skin can fill it up, yeah. And we'll say a, a full Is water it? skin will be five days worth of, of worth of water, because you don't really, you can like ration. Mm -hmm. All right, so anybody want to come with me to get some water? There you go. Go fill mine up. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna throw you my water skin too. Right here. So I got three water skins. Do I have clear sight, line of sight from here? Uh, yeah. From here, I can see it to yep. where they went. Yep. Okay. So uh, I just, no, no, no. just kind of keep an eye, like watching them, kind of watching over here. You're watching yeah. all angles. Yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks, mom. Back against the wall, <laughs> right where the rocks are. Like, I'm good. <laughs> so I guess. All right. Prince Darendal, are you coming with me too? Uh, yes, I shall go with you. Prince, not by myself. I got something to tell you. Come here. One moment. Let him go by himself. I'm going to help. It's, uh, it's necessary for our survival. Prince, you're gonna die too. Um, real quick, I need to wrap this up. So you're going in there. As soon as you walk in, you can see uh, a very large mushroom um, that's going maybe 30 or 40 feet high up in the air. Um, it's uh, it's got large grain-like spores that are on the outside of it. Kind of think like almost like a pineapple, not spiky though. And uh, it's uh, yeah, we'll leave we'll leave the explanation stop there. Okay. So when I see this, I don't want to get close. Like once I kind of see it, I want to still keep a good distance. Am I still within distance of stool to describe to him telepathically what this shroom looks like? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. So I just want to I just want to check and see if he might know what it is. If I should approach it, if it's good, or if I should fuck off. Uh, you're trying to have Ingress tell you that? Stool. Oh, stool! Oh, yeah, remember, remember, remember. Sorry, you did say I stool. I think stool's all the way over here. That's, well, that's why I said we're still yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll say that word. Um, so, uh, yeah, stool actually peeks his head and, and, and exclaims, oh, that's zerkwood. Zerkwood? It's edible. The, the little pockets on the outside of that are edible. I'll start having uh, Ingress harvest it with the dagger. Uh, uh, yeah. Wouldn't that help me be able to... Get it out a little bit easier. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll me 2d4 plus 4. 2d4 plus 4. Yep. 1, 2, 4, so plus 4. Plus 4. So that would six. be 6. Oh, 6. Yeah. Oh. Alright, so, and you have not, uh, by the way, harvested. Uh, there's maybe, we'll say there's like maybe two more harvests that could be done. Uh, so you get basically six pounds worth of food. Six pounds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which okay. is, we'll just say equivalent to six rations. So okay. from my line of sight, do I see him collect that? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll say yeah. And you, uh, you obviously as a native of the Underdark know exactly what that is. Oh, yeah, it looks like food over there, water's being had over there, and there's not much anything going on right now. Can I travel on over and grab some of this? Absolutely, yeah. And you can do, uh, 2d6 plus 4. Just for people online perspective. One. Oh yeah, let me And move three. That so that's 4 plus 4 is 8. 8? Okay, so you, you did, uh, 8 rations. Okay. On top of my... We'll nice. say there's nice. one more harvest that can be gotten from that Zerkwood. I'll go get it. Okay. I'm done shitting. 2d4 plus 4. Mm. And, uh, how much did you Seven. get, Ginger? No, I'm not. Ten. Ginger got 8. 8 ten. plus 4? Yeah, yeah there's ten. 10. I got 10. Alright. Uh, you can go ahead and add 10 rations. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I added your rations for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And after that, I'll start making our harvest. After we, after we do it. So he's, he, uh, no, that's Jay. His, Jay, his character's gonna be over right here. Yeah. Me and Ingress will move out. Alright. Good to have food. I like food. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's why I got so much. No, it's practically gold down, down there. I know, but I did it the first is. harvest, and after the first harvest, if they start coming, I, I said, well, Harry, okay. many rations I got. Okay, but I'm the richest man here. Some, like my situation over here yet. I know. So I'm, 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 I'm not next to So what happened if I take that back right now? I'll yeah. give you an action. I have it. Who are we rolling for? Who are we rolling for? Oh. What okay. was that face? Um, <laughs> they sent me something to talk. They sent me something for that. One sec. Uh, Harvey, you're over by the water. Yes. All right. And who's the? I was that that shoe. I would have been making my way over. After oh, that. Oh, no, 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 he did say. I just say I was making my way over, but however close you want to put me, I don't really care. He said he was after everybody started going over there. He started heading my way. All right, so we'll I say will technically be by the waterfall before. And Jim Jar and Drax are both in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, All right. Prince 
the Prince Harry bill was with us too, and still would have been here somewhere. Uh, yeah, okay, so we'll say uh, this area right here. NPC area. Uh, is where all the other NPCs are. Uh, the, what the fuck's her name? Eldred, uh, Shusar, all of them uh, are over there. Welcome to the NPC zone. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Sir Jim Jar. Okay. I feel like something's gonna happen. I'm feeling it too. It's kinda feeling it in my gut. Alright. And I didn't know oh no, that's gas. gas. <laughs> <laughs> um Okay, so uh what are you guys doing now? So uh, um he well, was filling up water. Like I, I went to the waterfall to fill up the three uh set skins of water. Okay. Um when I approach the water I just wanna investigate the area or like uh, to just make sure everything looks good. Or look at the water. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, roll an uh, investigation. Okay. I'll wait until he finishes his turn because I've already got my rash. What I want to do is I basically want to come to about right I here. Got 14. 14. Okay. Um, so as you're, yeah, as you're filling up, filling up the water skins, you're just topping off the last one that you're filling up. Uh, you're just kind of like, you know, your head's on a swivel a little bit. You guys, all, all of you feel like this unsettling silence kind of because you were hearing, Jesus. you were hearing growling and guttural, like, bestial sounds that, that you're no longer hearing anymore. Um, so you're all on edge. Uh, you're looking around. You don't see anything. Uh, Prince, uh, then, listen, I don't like the situation, dude. Like, it's super quiet to where it was, and I'll tell you, what I was hearing was coming from that earlier, but now I hear nothing. Perhaps whatever it was decided to leave. That's why I'm... Well, there are many of us. Perhaps whatever it was, we scared away. Uh, I think we need to get back to the rest of it. Okay, let's go. All right. Um, That's where uh, I'll walk up, I guess. I'll be walking up as he's finishing yeah. okay. Then I'll top mine off real quick. Okay. And Jim Jar, you were coming out to what you said here? Yeah, right about there. Okay. Hugging, your favorite? Hugging, hugging the uh, the stone. Like this? Okay. Yeah, because I, I could disappear in the stone. For and, uh, okay, so what were you doing as you made your way over? I kind of wanted to, um, you know, just because I was here, this was blocking my vision. I came here, looked that way. I could see 120 feet, so I didn't see anything towards the water. I saw about 120 feet that way. I didn't see anything towards that way because we've already checked that out. Uh -huh. So I want to kind of peer. I haven't come this way, so I can't look that way. So logically, I just kind of want to look way? in that general direction. Yeah, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Uh, perception. Pretty please. Yeah, nope, nope. Got to bring up my little stats. Black, 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 black. Well, that's a 19 plus one. It's a dirty 20. <laughs> <laughs> no, I believe. You. <laughs> I believe you. Uh, I just think it's funny. That was exactly exactly what you needed to roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not a regular 20. You need a so specifically dirty 20. I'm gonna need you guys. Close your eyes. Oh, eyes. Eyes. Why are you? Why are you coming to me? This is what you see. Oh Jesus! This is anticipation. He's gonna kill me. Can we look at? Okay. Alright. Can we look? Can we look? Can we look? Yeah. Wait. I go to him. I'm not going to jump. Is, uh, is, um, stool here? Yeah. Stool. Do the right thing. Guys, guys, I see something big with horns. Face looks kind of cow-like. Big that way. Just scary big mofo that way. How far? It's right underneath the, the thing over there. It's just underneath big. This? Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. It's big and it's that way. Just. Is that the only way we can leave? No, no. no the exit's here. Um, mm. Okay, so by this point, uh, I believe I, the prince and I are over heading back there so yeah, this way. I'll come on. Um, After hitting him, I'll start making a little bit. I was just about to say, I'm going to go around. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I just still like have everybody's so, water sack. Like I'm going to grab my water sack as I pass you. Well, I'm just handing them out. Like, you did, I didn't get your water sack? I did mine myself. Okay, so I give you yours. I give so you, you said yours. him filling it up is like, what, five? Five days worth of water. Yeah, each each full water skin, uh, we'll say, is worth five days worth of uh, water. For Sweet. Okay, so... All right, so real quick, Shu, you moved over here. Yeah, what are I'm you gonna, doing? I'm going to get low and just try and peer and see... What he was saying. Is this what another he was pillar based on his. This is another rock that looks like a boulder. Uh, yeah. Coverage. Uh, yes. Would it be? We'll say it's maybe it like by any chance salt? since since he kind of give a hint is where it might be. Oh, I I, uh, I said rap. Nice try though. Try. 
Seven. She was like, I don't see anything. <laughs> I'm gonna go around to where he is, and I'm gonna stop. By the way, just I'm doing. I'm yeah, just right there, just okay. about right there. I, I'm trying to see if this is clear or if I can make my way seeing this. Sure. Whoever's Perception. Shit. Fuck it. Nice. Did where he's at for you, just for visual aid for him. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I need to. Maybe you can do me a favor if you're not doing anything right now. See if you can just find a suitable little small dude for, for him. That was me. Thirteen. Thirteen plus. He's thirteen. Uh, so you you take a, a good look, and the angle you have somehow seems to be a little better with the crystals behind back there, kind of like adding a little bit of a silhouette okay. behind, and uh, you still uh, yourself don't see anything. So on that note. Oh, uh, it's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. That's all my rations. <laughs> <laughs> legit, it is. It's a backpack full of food. I'm not um, just that no. I'm rich, bitch. I'm going to stealth out that way. you going to leave? Hell yeah. You're going to leave to the next right. area that no one knows what's in the next area? All right. It's better than dealing with whatever the fuck is in there. Right. Bye, everyone. Deals. So I'm gonna well, I'm going to go to the, the edge. You said you're going to stealth out. I'm going to go. Out. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the edge right here. Bitch! Um, Fuck you, ho. Yeah. Okay, give me one sec. You mad because. Oh shit. You didn't see shit either. I mad Do me a favor. Um, do one see. more perception check for me, God please. Damn it. He's coming from where I'm at. No bueno. Four. Oh, okay. We got All right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna die? Okay, so. Uh, it's him that's making a move. Um, where are you going? Forward. <laughs> Too late. You say you know, I'm gonna you try to stealth this way. I'm trying to get out. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah. reconsidering the out, and I just want to go back to this direction. As soon as you get to yeah. right here. Oh right shit! Uh, do another perception check for me. Baby G. Adult G's, baby G's, everybody G's. This part, yeah. this part of the camera is a little bit darker. You guys do stealth too? You guys want to stand? A ten? Plus stealth? Plus my stealth? It's stealth, right? Oh. You're going to sneak out, right? It's eleven. <laughs> no, no, this uh, was, was that for the stealth. This was perception. Like perception. Oh, perception oh, so just happened. Okay. okay. Can I do that? Stealth, stealth. Um. Too late. Can I roll this? Probably stealth? won't be necessary. I can. As soon as you round the corner, um. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh. You see this standing right there next to you. <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus. Wait. I don't even need to see it. <laughs> All right. No, so, no. just the fact that standing next to him is hilarious. So, can I disengage before action? At actually? this point, I'm going to have you guys roll initiative for me. Can we see? Yes. Um. Okay. No, you can't see anything yet. You need a giant. Neither can you. So, we got to well, do roll without you can't, eyes line? Yeah. I mean, it just... Initiative is not looking for anything though, right? Yeah. So I hear him say, "Oh shit!" No, ready up. Yeah, just initiative. Time to nut up. Oh, so up. Initiative. Twenty. Just, it don't matter for shit, but I got it. Twenty-two, baby. And an, an initiative is just straight. Right? Fucking uh, aim. So you actually yeah. would add your dexterity modifier. Hey, you, you so uh, go back to the first. So page. for you, it would be plus three. So, it'd so be twenty plus that. three. Nineteen. Fuck you, twenty. Yeah, twenty-two. Twenty-two. Shit. What'd you get? Tracks. Oh, my dexterity? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So plus three. Oh, so no, my so dexterity is a plus five. No, no. Yeah. That's the same. Oh, three. Yeah. Uh, okay, three. Your initiative. Yeah, yeah that's so your initiative. So 19. Yeah, nice. Nice job right there. And Harvey, you had what, 20? 20 total. All right. Big shit. Like two no, no, no. Hold on. Hold yeah. on. Wait. 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 <laughs> the one who really wait. needs it. <laughs> you're, trying to, you're trying to see if you get advantage on Shut up. No, wait. The one who really needs it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, I didn't move my character. <laughs> uh, okay. So from here to By any chance, here. can I use saving face on this? Saving Six. face? Or uh, read the ability option. Once per turn, it was per short rest. You, if you miss an attack fail or fail an ability check or saving throw, you can gain a bonus equal to the number of allies you can see within 30 feet. I mean, this you didn't technically fail. <gasps> Initiative's not a pass or fail kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can only do that once per <laughs> rest. No, I will added. save that for like, So I will say this. The story. folks that know what it is, mm -hmm. but we're, we're just now on the precipice of combat. Before we actually move into combat and the first person takes their turn, you guys can verbally shout whatever you'd like to your teammates. 
within reason, not like a whole paragraph or anything. Well, but yeah, you know. I mean, everyone, like, who, who do I? No, I, no I one's next to you. We're all here inside the building. Over here. I'm you're, you're, when, you're in the NPC zone. You were telling us to get away from there. So we and everybody decided to go yeah. where you said not to go. Right? No, no, he said it was right here. I'm half right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you know he may be wrong. Well, well you're telling him, trying to uh, Are you just hinting? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying to us? Yeah. Okay. All right. You're saying he may be wrong? Yeah. That is a I mean, <laughs> clue. <laughs> if I say, if Chris. I say, there's two of them. Tree! It was stool! There's two of them! I don't know. I, actually, I wouldn't know that. You wouldn't no. know the second one. So, um, I haven't seen any. What can I. Alright, hold on. Time out. I only see the one. Don't know about this one. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, so can I. But hold on. This is out of game. Remember, he stopped making noise. Who's to say that he didn't move? Also true. Um, so, back in game. <laughs> From my vantage point, everyone's over here. I'm there. Yeah. Can I still see in that direction? Yeah, Clearly? there's nothing there. <laughs> so, the, so oh man, since, I, since I've never really moved, did I see any movement from that direction? That's what the second check was for. When I had you roll perception again, you got a four. Oh! Just to see if you can see anything moving. <laughs> so I have an initiative right now. No, no, oh no, we all roll an initiative. Because it's now is it you, you never right. have an opportunity He's to shout. Sunday before so whatever. combat starts. This is before and what I combat. shouted was, he may be wrong. I don't see it anymore. All right. So does he go right first? With that. Does he go first? I already, I already shoes up first. what it looked like. I shoes up first. first. Shoes up first. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I that mean, she gets to see it now. Oh wait, where's my? I didn't add battle music for that. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> I was just waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, I will go in and move my... I'll take my movement first. I'll go 30 feet this way. 15, 20, 25. Just so I can try and get like a view this way. And I'll have I'll have Ingress come up here. So he's 10 feet away from me. He's not have him, have him come close to me. I'm just saying okay. I don't like you like that. Really uh, good. perception check? Perception? Sir, kick me to that. Whatever. Uh, sixteen. That is a really good roll. You don't see anything. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yo, this thing. How is this thing so stealthy? <laughs> I, I kinda know how, but. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do then? Do we? Do we be my turn? Hit it with the divine sense. All right. Um, I'll just I'll hold. No, I'm the. I'll just hold it. Okay. All right. And I use divine sense, even though it's not my turn. No. Okay. It's no way for your turn. Damn it. All right. I can't see nothing. Wait, wait. He, he was. He rolled higher than me on uh, initiative. He rolled natural twenty. Yeah. No. 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 I no, rolled no. a, a sixty plus four. Gotcha. Your dexterity modifier is plus four. He's a monk. That's what he is. <laughs> He's always the monk. Not always. Hey, Don. Come up to me. No, I feel like I feel like there's gonna be bad vibes going up to you. You got no. five minutes uh, for your turn. All right, listen. Um, oh, he has a template. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. That, that's a five foot boulder, right? Yeah. Um. Five you, minutes starting now. How high is the ceiling? Sixty feet. feet. Sixty feet. Can I fly above the boulder about twenty feet and stay about the right the view is completed. Sure. All right, and just hop, and then does that give me eyes? Perception. All right. Skills. Magic man. Perceptions. Magic man. 18. Okay. Close your eyes. God damn it! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> in your way. Hey, hey, you hey. Does hey. Ingress have blind sight on this thing? Hey. Uh, you can't move no more. Move with you? Yeah, he like, moved. He okay. moved right here and there. No, no, he's he's here. Oh, gotcha. He's staying 10 feet away from me, but he would be. Oh, okay. um, uh, I'm 20 feet above the boat. Yeah, you're a yeah. Who's, yeah. who's to say he can't get? That, that, that's what I'm about to find out. Shit. You and Ingrid are some hard motherfuckers. What are you doing? So since I'm 20 feet above the boulder, am I? Is it in reach of me? No. No. Okay. Son of a bitch. <laughs> He's gonna. He's gonna use the breath better than you again. <laughs> All right. Um. You know what? I am. My ass. I am you gonna attack it? Yeah, three minutes left, man. Yeah. No. Uh, I 
am going to do a uh, Breath of the Dragon, and I am going to do a uh, 20 foot, uh, no, uh, because I don't want to hit him, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to do a 30 foot uh, line attack, straight, it's just a foot wide, I'm going to do poison. Okay. <laughs> you got three minutes. It's he gave deck, you five minutes. You have to do a deck save. Deck save. He literally gave you five minutes. Um, he saves. Yep. Uh, so you have half damage? Half damage, so my roll is gonna be, uh, what, what element did you Poison. Poison. Okay. Alright, so... <laughs> this is gonna be fun! <laughs> How far is the dog from me? He's 20 foot in the air and uh, 10 feet away. No, I'm 25 feet. I'm fi- uh, 20 so feet. So 35 feet away from me. At an angle, yeah. 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 35 feet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, four damage. Um, you can cut it down in half. That's two damage, that's poison. We need to okay. speak. Right. <laughs> Um, on your turn. Oh, that's fine. I mean, I could have got past it. All right, so you're. Five. No, I. I there was you do your poison breath, and it seems to wash over it, and doesn't look like it did anything. This thing is not good, bro. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, I, I, um, are we still connected to stool? Yeah. All right, I, I just, no, I just tell everybody, listen, whatever it is, poison doesn't work on this thing. We are in trouble. Let's get out of here. I'm done. All right. <laughs> he made it in turn! Jim Jar, you're up. He was close for this. <laughs> <laughs> that means we can say your turn for three minutes now. I'll get it down each time. <laughs> that was fun. Mine took less than a minute. <laughs> and you got nothing. <laughs> Where did you spray in this general direction over here? Straight. straight. Yeah. Straight ahead. But you. Yeah, you want to. Yeah, no. Um, I want to move. This is all boulders over here, right? Yeah. My, my move is what? 25? Might be, uh, might be more than 25, yeah. 25. Oh, wow. Can I do that? Yeah. 5, yeah. 10, 15, 20, 25? Yep. Yeah. He allows for that. Mm-hmm. So, do I have to clear line of sight that way? Yeah, you can make another perception check. Please. Seven. Does it One count when it's out of the though. thing? That is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay. If you want to re-roll it, you can. I prefer to. But yeah, go ahead. I like my stuff to be here. Yeah. Son of a bitch, sorry. You're good. 17, and then my perception. My perception plus one, so 18. Okay, John. God damn it! For real! How can he see? So I have clear eyes. I'm right there! Yeah. Okay. Alright. You're right there! (laughs) You're just still a blind mother. He's harder than me! I'm right there! You're still just a blind man. I don't know why I've done this thing. So I got, I got, I got, I got still connected, right? Yeah. You guys don't see that? It's no! Right. It's so <laughs> funny. It's like, you guys are you know, fucking crazy. You know what? I got you. <laughs> Let's do it. Can I see it? We all see it. Yo, I don't enjoy the hallucination because I don't see shit. Oh, you don't see it? Fucking these badass <laughs> shrooms over here. Y'all are tripping. Is, is it the shrooms? It must be because y'all have a shared experience. Quick question. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what I want to do, and you okay. tell me if I can do this. Sure. I want to take my. I mean, I have a candle. I have tinder. I have I have ways to make fire. Yes. Tinder. Nice. Even in the yes. <laughs> I'm looking at my stuff. I have a candle. I have lanterns. I have obviously have a way to. Yeah. To yeah. 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 You got an oil flask. Yeah. You got the stuff to make a fire. I, I want to make a fire. <laughs> yes, fire. Sorry, uh, I want to make a fire. <laughs> Quickly just grab just up oil that. and shoot a bow at it, lit on fire. So oh, Jesus. can I do that? I would say Hold that on. the that your action would be preparing the arrow, lighting it on fire. That's your action for your turn. Right. Okay. This is just me asking the question. Wouldn't a Don's character be in the way because he's in the air? He's flying. No, he's no, flying. I'm not flying. He's technically he's here. here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. What you're doing is we'll shooting. We'll it's gonna have to go in an arch though no, no, to get to him. Crossbow. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah no, there's we'll some say crossbow. that you can do it the attack. Uh, that's that's fine. We'll do that. Yeah. Are you sure? Because yeah, yeah. it's gonna hit a Don. We're all okay with it. No, there's it's, uh, there's crossbows don't work that way. I'm just saying. He'll be able. I mean, if he rolls a one, we might hit him. Roll a one. I might hit you. So yeah, you're gonna shoot a flaming crossbow bolt at it. Technically. I'm uh-huh. trying to give you a beacon. <laughs> <laughs> On his next turn, if he still can't see, he deserves whatever. Fuck y'all, shoot that! Alright. <laughs> so, flaming crossbow bolt. I'll laugh. I'll roll for it. He's on fire and you still can't see it. 
Nat 20. Ooh. Okay, so, um, would that be a crit? It's a crit. So, what's your damage for that? Uh, let's see, what is it? What is the, well, my, my regular... It's for crossbow? Crossbow. Crossbow or shortbow? For shortbow. Yeah. Shortbow. Um, yeah, it'd be right there. 1d6 plus 3? Okay, Hit so that would be... Plus 5, so that would be 9. Plus 6, so that's 19. 19. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so it, everyone else can see it at this point, right? Oh, what? <laughs> wow! Wait, does it also get fire damage, like, or? Oh, we'll get to that. Okay, cool. Can he finally see it? Well, we're getting to that. We're about to find out. So Jinjar attempts to make sure everyone is capable and uh, able to see this thing. Quickly thinks, uh, creates a little fire arrow, shoots it, and it ends up hitting the thing square in the head. And as soon as it does. Its ability that was allowing it to remain invisible drops it was as it's invisible? got a, as it's got an arrow protruding from its head. Now it's got a very thick skull, so it doesn't look like it's done a lot of damage, believe it or not. But it was enough to break its concentration and cause a little bit of fire that doesn't doesn't do any damage at all. So the but it did it did, it did get hurt from that, but. It didn't sink into its skull. Can you describe how its invisibility drops for me? That way I know if it's like, was it like a mist? Was it like, can I visibly interpret that it was holding onto a spell? It just time? winks, it just winks into existence. It's like, it's, yeah. It's not like the Harry Potter and Cloak of Well, that's what I was asking Steve. That looks more demonic. I'm sorry. Did I say, did I say something about a, 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 a sen- uh, yeah. He said, you didn't say, I said horns, and I said, said face, yeah. and yeah. All right. So, uh, that was, how much we said? Uh, 19. 19. 19 damage. Okay. Nice. Uh, is that your turn? Welcome. <laughs> this is um, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm still behind coverage over here, so I'm, I'm still I'm like behind this rock. Okay. Over here. okay. All right. So, so this I'm hanging out. This thing, uh, as it gets up. hit and it realizes <laughs> the jig is up and it's now visible to everybody, roars much louder than it has done before. And it, it's as you guys get a clear look at this thing, it looks like a massive orc but twisted, like, almost like a mutated demonic version of an orc. Looks very powerful. It grabs its broadsword and immediately goes at the first thing it sees in front of it. My butthole. It sidles up to Drax, God reaches back it. with its great sword, and I think we're going to have to pause there. Oh. See you back on the next one. <laughs> Let's go.